Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You may want to change the settings of an individual email that you will send prior to sending the email. To do this in the message window, click the Options tab that appears within the ribbon and then click the dialog box launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the More Options button group. This will open the Properties dialog box. In the Settings section, you can set the message importance by clicking the drop-down arrow at the right end of the Importance text box. You can choose from Low, Normal, or High. You can also set the sensitivity of the message by clicking the drop-down arrow at the right end of the Sensitivity text box. Your choices are Normal, Personal, Private, or Confidential. In the Voting and Tracking Options section, check the checkboxes for any tracking options that you want by using the checkboxes for Request a Delivery Receipt for this message and Request a Read Receipt for this message if desired. These will notify you when the message is delivered and read, respectively. If you check the Use Voting Buttons option, you can select to have voting buttons placed on the message that the users can click on to respond to a question posed by your email. Choices appear in the drop-down after the checkbox, but you can also type your own button labels into the drop-down, separating each label with a semicolon. In the Delivery Options section, if you would like the replies to the email to be sent to someone else's email address, you can enter that person's address into the Have Replies Sent To text box. You can also set a delivery date for the message, in which case Outlook will not attempt to send the message before the designated date. You can do this by checking the Do Not Deliver Before checkbox, clicking the drop-down arrow at the right end, and selecting a date from the calendar drop-down that appears. Choose a specific time by selecting a time from the drop-down box to the right of the calendar drop-down. You can also set an expiration date for the message, after which the message will not be available. You can set this date by checking the checkbox before expires after, clicking the drop-down arrow at the right end, and choosing a date from the calendar drop-down. Then choose a specific time by selecting a time from the drop-down box to the right of the calendar drop-down. You can then click the close button when you are finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.